calculate cos inverse cos 4 pi by 3. How do we calculate this? C. We should get the answer to this one. So let us take the answer to be y. And the condition is y should lie in the range of cos inverse which is 0 to pi. Our answer should lie in this interval. Clear with this point? Next. Shift cos inverse to the other side, it will become cos y and this no change. Now comparing both sides, we get y to be 4 pi by 3. Does this lie in this interval? No. So reject this answer. Next cos 4 pi by 3 exceeds that interval. So we should decrease it. And to decrease, I subtract 2 pi. Now whatever we are subtracting, we should also add the same thing. Important point here. In cos inverse sums, we should only subtract the even multiples of pi. That is 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi like that. Remember this point. Next, cos, now this 2 pi I write at the start and you calculate this 4 pi by 3 minus 2 pi, we get minus 2 pi by 3, okay, next, here we have pi, so cos is not going to change, it will remain cos and inside we get this angle 2 pi by 3. Now the question is will we get here plus or minus? To answer that we should look at the number before pi which is 2 and 2 is even and all the even multiples of pi they lie in either in the first or in the fourth quadrant. So now to select the quadrant we should look at this symbol. Here we have negative that means angle lies in the fourth and in the fourth quadrant cos is positive so put plus. Now on the other side no change equal to cos y. Comparing both sides we get y to be 2 pi by 3. Does this lie in this interval? Yes. So this is our answer.